Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm out here at the hangar. I wanted to come take a look at some of the progress that's been made over the last couple of weeks. I actually go back to work tomorrow, so I wanted to come out and take a look at the building before I head back to work. So I am out here in Amarillo, it's just me and my phone. I don't have a computer or any video editing software. So today's video is just gonna be a one take, walk around, show you all the updates that have been made to the building, uh, the progress that's been made and I'll just post it straight from my phone to, to YouTube. So let's take a walk around and, and see what's happened. Okay, I'll try my best to keep the camera steady. Um, but here we are inside the building. I, uh, I had to film this inside the building for me talking because the wind noise is, is so loud outside. So a couple things you'll uh, see right away that, that have been done. First of all, this end wall is now completely skinned and we have a, a roof on the building. So the roof is in. All the way back to the door. So once again, still waiting on the hangar door, supposed to ship within the first two weeks of October. Um, and go ahead and scroll. And the other major change you can see is we now have garage doors. So we'll walk over here and take a look at the garage doors. As I'd mentioned in a previous video, uh, the beauty of having the 17 foot tall sidewalls is that the garage doors can go straight up so they won't uh, overhang the, the front of the building, or, or not the front of the building, but overhang above your head inside the garage. They'll just go straight up this wall. Uh, so those have been installed. They're actually, uh, looks like kind of not single piece garage doors or, um, you know, just to skin there. There are two, there are two layers of some insulation in between. So that's kind of nice to have insulated out here in Amarillo because it does get cold. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and uh, pan around slow looking at the building. So as you can see, everything on the building now is then completely enclosed except for the hangar door. And that really is the major progress that's been made in the last couple of weeks. We'll go ahead and walk around, take a look at it from the, the outside, because there have been some updates on the outside. So the only real changes that have happened, as you can see, are the downspouts. So the gutters and the downspouts are on. So now we have gutters all along that roof line, and we have downspouts coming down the side of the building. And that'll help direct the water away from the building. If you don't have gutters and downspouts out here in Amarillo, you have a big problem with water coming off the roof. It hits the, the ground right here and it just splashes mud up. So it's really, really, really hard to keep the, the building clean without gutters and downspouts. Now we are eventually gonna have all of this area be driveway. And once again, the plan is to have a uh, pave in here and have a wraparound porch that, that starts between the front door and the garage door and it'll come around and wrap around the side of the building to some way midway down this building. Probably end it before the bedroom windows. Um, but we could, it could even go all the way to the other side of the building and make a full L shape, but probably just a partial L here, come around here. We'll go ahead and walk around this other side of the building. It's good, I know it's windy. I'm sure the wind noise is pretty, pretty tough. Downspouts on this side of the building as well. So, what that leaves to be completed is we need to still trench from, from here, this is the water inlet, trench over to the well there um, and, and run water line and power to the well to bring water into the house. And then we need to tie in the, the septic out. We still need to bury the septic and the field lines this way along this edge of the property. So left still to do that the builder is gonna do before I take over and start finishing out the inside is like we said, trench, add the water, uh, do the septic. Um, he, we need to 
bring electrical into the building, uh, install the hangar door, and then spray foam insulate the inside of the building. And that really is the last steps. So, big picture here of, of the hangar door. See if I can back up far enough to get the whole hangar door in the camera shot. And uh, that's the progress that's been made. So short video, but but just want to keep you all updated on what's going on. And uh, uh, I'll, I'll post more videos as I get out here. So I'm, go I'm going back to work. In a few weeks, I'll get off work. And hopefully a lot of progress has been made. I'm actually hoping to start um, working on the house my next days off. So, so stay tuned, and I'll post that video as soon as I get there. Thanks.